Get that dessert out there, then. The crowning glory is saved to last. Mmm, here it is. Tiramisu. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it has got that nice little mm. je ne sais queen. <laughs> je ne sais queen, that's us. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so to end the night before we go home, uh, we've got a little game to play. So we're going to find out who knows each other the best. Who is more likely to organise a date? What, with the two of us? <laughs> yeah, or someone else? <laughs> Safe to say, not you, then. Who is the most romantic? I think I'm more romantic. Oh, what, than me? Oh, yeah. No, not at all. <laughs> it's a divorce! <laughs> Yes, taxi, quite right. Lovely, gorgeous tiramisu. Very nice. It wasn't a showstopper, was it? Well, it wasn't. It was more like a gobstopper. So if we would score ourselves tonight, I think we'd give us a one, two, three... 18. 19. Oh! Ooh. They made fantastic effort on the homemade stuff and that. It didn't quite hit the spot with the taste, uh, but we had a fantastic laugh with them. They were great hosts, so that we're going to score them a wonderful... 14. I just felt that, for me, the food just didn't quite hit the mark. So tonight we're going to score Pete and Jason a 14. 14. So despite a fun first night, their homemade Italian menu didn't quite do the job, with Pete and Jason scoring 28 out of 40.